What are you doing, cutie pie? You gonna help? Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. And as you can see from my hands and my location, I am out in the garden and I'm going to show you kind of month update and I have some maintenance to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Apparently there are lots of dogs happening. Out with an updated tour. So obviously the hops have gone a little crazy. The cucamelons over here are super happy. And then as we open, we have lots of herbs. And these are some of the tools that I'll be using later. The squash and beans are doing wonderfully. Hello. And we've got zucchini, the corn, and hello, little pollinator. How you doing? We have tomatillos. All the bottom of this are cucumbers. Hi, Miko. What are you doing? The pups love being in here. And now that everything is a little bit taller, we don't have an issue with them running through the garden beds. But these are tomatoes, and this is one of the big things I need to work on today because they are not supported and they are getting to this place that they need to be. So I'll be doing some steaks and lacing. And then we've got peppers and some more. Um, tomatoes and then we've got melons back there which I don't think that ended up being a good spot for them so we'll see how that works but they should be way bigger than that by now because these are the pumpkins and the pumpkins are doing wonderfully what, what are you sniffing at and look at all these little mushrooms popping up it has been so wet here lately that there are all kinds of different mushrooms you can see them down there too okay so on my to-do list today are to string up the tomatoes. I use something called a Florida weave. I'll show you how to do that instead of using tomato cages because I'm not the biggest fans of them, not because they don't work, just because I don't like the look of it. And some of my tomatoes are indeterminate, so they're gonna get a little taller than what the cages can handle. Two, weeding, lots of it. I haven't been out in the garden as much as I normally do because it has been one, like 100 degrees plus for a very long time. So I was only out in the evening and then it's been storming, raining, and hailing for the last four days. And there's a possibility it might happen again. So hopefully not. <laughs> um, and then I need to harvest some stuff because some of my herbs are bolting because of the heat and the wetness. And overall, just kind of give it a little refresh and update. So we will see what happens. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram or saw my last video, you know that I've been working with O'Tools, which is an amazing garden center here in Denver. They have three different locations. I love them all. I happen to most recently go to the Westminster one, but that is where I picked up all of these goodies that are going to help with my garden today. So first up, I have these little mini nuggets that I'm actually going to go fill up the bottom of the hops with. Not sure what's going on because this didn't happen last year, but the hops are really happy up here. You can see they're starting to get little blossoms. Yeah, little blossoms, but, but the bottom looks like this. So not my favorite, but I am in a local Colorado gardening group on Facebook, which if you have one near you, jump in that, it's great. And they told me to mulch. So I grabbed some of that mulch from O'Tools because I know it's gonna work for the area. Um, the company that is like Mountain West products, so you know it's gonna work in my climate, etc. So we're gonna start out by putting that on. And then second, I got more of these stakes because I have two garden beds of tomatoes and peppers that I am going to stake up and I only have a few of the stakes but I got these are hardwood kiln dried so and they've got the perfect little points on the bottom to make them easier going in I grabbed these and I also have two other things I picked up from O'Toole so we have the velcro garden ties depending on if they need a little extra support or I'll show you how to use garden twine as well I also grabbed some of this 
liquid tomato food that's organic from O'Toole's as well. But because I am running out of town for the next couple of days, I think I'm gonna wait to fertilize until I get back. So just in case all of these guys blow up, I will be here to make sure everything is fine. The best way to dispose of weeds is let the chickens get them. And the ducks are coming over. Everyone is very excited about the weeds. All right, I know I have waited way too long to give these tomatoes some support. And I swear they went from little itty bitty plants to giant ones in like just about a week um, because of all that rain and the heat we've been having. So I'm gonna show you, that does mean this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to kind of like truss everything up. However, it still should work. It's just some of the tomatoes are gonna be growing instead of straight up, they'll grow over and then up. So they won't be perfect little rows. So because this is such a mess, I'm gonna show you how on two tomato plants instead of this jungle here. All right, so for each row, you are going to need four stakes. I'm gonna put two at the front and two at the back. And the way that I like to do these is probably about maybe 18 inches apart. Um, it's sometimes if you have really big tomatoes, you might want to do them a little wider. If you have some smaller varieties, you can do it a little bit closer together. But I'm going to put some of these at the beginning and some of these at the end and use the hammer to hammer them into the ground so they're nice and steady. Now that these guys are pounded into the ground, you'll see that each stake has a pair on the opposite side. So when I trellis, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this stake and attach the string to the stake directly across from it. And I'll do the same thing with this. So essentially it'll be supported by two stakes on either side. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach the string maybe about every foot or so, and you don't have to attach them all at once. So I'm probably only gonna do one, two, three lines of twine across, but you can always add to it as your tomatoes grow taller. We have one, two, three strands connecting all the way across. As you can see, the tomatoes look happier already. And because this did have quite a big curve in it, I decided to go ahead and use that plant Velcro. And the great thing about plant Velcro is it literally sticks to itself. So you don't need like an A side and a B side, but I just gave it a couple extra places of extra support. And we will have very happy tomato plants. I have all four stakes with three little trellises each, and these guys look so much happier, so much more contained, and that was super simple to do. So overall, yay. I am currently very sweaty, but as you can tell, the sky is changing a little bit and over towards the mountains that way. It looks like it's going to storm again, so I'm going to do a quick little harvest and I will show you that and then jump off. Most of what I'm harvesting today are herbs that are growing too fast, so anything that flowers I'm going to snip off 
and cut down so a lot of this will grow so much more basil. The more you cut it, the bushier it's gonna get. All right, a little bit of a harvest and that's it for today. I'm starting to get rained on. So quick thank you to O'Toole's for sponsoring this once again. All of my links, all of O'Toole's links will be in the description box. But yes, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these garden updates. Oh my goodness, the wind coming in. But yes, I will see you guys again soon. What, do you want to say goodbye too? Oh, oh. That was such a good goodbye. Goodbye.